And hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dynasty Warriors 3, I am Reader95 and today we are starting Jihau Dunes Mushu Mode. Let's get right to it with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Brother, let's go! It's finally time. Yes! Ha! <laughs> the rats are gathering. <laughs> Don't be so hasty! So we're all pretty familiar with this stage at this point. It's the Old Turban Rebellion, we've done this stage a lot. So, my little brother Brandon did play as Yehal doing for a bit, so he has he does have the Karen Sword, so we're starting out with that. The Peacock Urn, Tiger Amulet, Red Hair, Shell Armor, and the Way of the Mushu. Is there anything else that I would rather have? Kinda tempted to get the Art of War. Also kind of tempted to get the 7 star orb for more uh, drops. In fact, I actually think that having the 7 star orb never lose weapon deadlock. Oh, it's either the Art of War or the 7 star orb. I'm going to go with the Art of War uh, because having like improved durations on those is really good. So I have 8 bodyguards and they're all elite, so just going to keep them like that. And then we're just going to go through the conditions, which is to, you know, defeat Zhang Zhao, don't let He Jin get beat. We have He Jin with Liu Yan, Zhang Chao, Zhu Jing, Hong Feng Song, uh, Zhu Jun, Lu Ji, Liu Bei, with Zhang Feng Guan Yu, Sun Jian, Hong Gai, Hang Dan, Cheng Pu, Cao Cao with Jia Hao Dun, Jia Hao Yuan, Cao Ren, and Cao Hong. So let's just do the introduction and then get started. In the spring of the year 184, led by their leader Zhang Zhao, followers of the religious group known as the Way of Peace rose up in rebellion across the land. Their actions fueled by discontent with the decadent and corrupt Han Dynasty. This uprising became known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion, due to the yellow cloths the followers wore around their heads. The power of the Yellow Turbans knew no boundaries, instantly spreading throughout the plains of central China. The beleaguered Han sent out a call for help across the land to organize a campaign against the Yellow Turbans. With hopes of a better future for the Chinese people, brave men and women answered this call of duty, and thus begins one of the most turbulent eras of Chinese history known as the Three Kingdoms. Okay, so everybody knows this stage pretty damn well at this point, so we're just gonna blaze through it essentially. Playing as Yahal Dun, let's do it. Right, so first off, my plan of action is to take down Yan Zheng and Sun Zhong. Sun Zhong, because I, he's, Sun Xiao Dun isn't fully grinded, he's not completely. I think Sun Zhong is like over here somewhere. Yeah, Sun Zhong is right here. Later Dynasty Warriors games actually like show you where the enemy um, sub officers are, which is really helpful. Holy crap! Do I have this on normal? I don't remember. BRB. Now I need to check if it's on normal. <laughs> I've completely forgotten. And here we are. We're back. It was on normal. All that time, so I didn't even need to do that, but oh well. Right, so let's go back and take care of Sun Zhong for the second time and kind of just try to breeze through this stage as quickly as we can. I do. The most annoying thing about this stage is going to be getting the uh, bonuses, uh, the Dim Sum and Mushu Wine. That's going to be the most annoying thing about this stage. 
because uh, there's t there's four of them in this stage, four in total, and two of them are really easy to access, but there's uh, the other two are really annoying to get, to be honest. All right, where is? Yeah, he's right here. So I'm not expecting much trouble with this Mushu because Jialdun's pretty. He's pretty powered up because of previous experience with him, and I've got a lot of bodyguards that are pretty powerful as well. And I've got the current sword, so I'm expecting this to go by rather fine, rather okay. Right, let's get this gate, Captain, just for good measure. Grab the boost, because I still haven't maxed out Jialdun, and he's going to start dropping boulders. Right, so actually what we want to do now is, let's go and grab the, let's go up the left hand side, actually Zhang Zhao is actually over here isn't he, let's take care of him. There he is right there. Obviously this isn't Zhang Zhao as in the final boss Zhang Zhao because uh, he's really easy to f defeat right here. So this isn't the final boss of this stage, it's just a little thing you can do. He likes to teleport about the map a lot of the time, uh, but he's really not that difficult. This stage in general is not that difficult. Don't fall behind. Let's go counter. Let's go try and go counterclockwise. I'm just gonna try and speed through this stage. And Zhang Zhao has now teleported all the way inside there, but I'm not really worried about it. It's it's not too much of an issue to be honest. Because see, if we just go far north enough, or if we take out Zhang Bao or Zhang Liang, then I think Zhang Zhao teleports across the river. So here's the Mushu Wine. Well, here's one of the Mushu Wines in this stage, and it's the one that's actually really easy to get. Right, so we've got more Zhang Liang troopers, nothing to really worry about. There's Zhang Liang right here, let's just take him down. Because why the hell not? And true Mushu time. Oh boy, you screwed now. And that takes care of Zhang Liang. Now, I know it said 30 seconds when I picked that up, but really it's 60 seconds because I have the Art of War. Is it the Art of War? I think it, yeah, it's the Art of War. So because I have that, it's actually 60 seconds, so which is. A big difference in this game. Well, at least I damn well hope so. Art of War, yeah, I should. Yeah, it is. It's the Art of War. Right, is there any guys up here? I don't think there is. We've not yet. Right, Zhang Liang has frozen the river with his magic. Even after I've taken taken him out, he still manages to freeze the river somehow. So as soon as we go here, I think Zhang Zhao will teleport away. Like, as soon as we come to this side. Yeah, as soon as we get to this side. So as soon as you get to, like, the other side of the river, he will, like, teleport away. And that is when you know he actually becomes a boss. Is when he becomes the big, very shiny red dot, rather than just a normal one. Right, so just tear through these guys, no problem. Still got, um, a couple of guys to take care of. Don't stop me from getting on my horse. That will not end well for any of you guys. Alright, so Peyon Shao, he's my next target. And he should just be... Where is he going? Yeah, he's coming down here. So if I come here, I'll manage to intercept him. Here he is. Yeah, this stage is really not much of a hassle at all. We must wait for reinforcements. I might even actually just grab the I defeated an officer. Grab the power ups and then we finish the stage. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll grab the power ups and finish the stage. Because this stage is really not that difficult. 
Right, so the easy to get, there is a Mishu, no, there's a Dim Sum as well that's really easy to get, and it's just over here. It's right up there. There should be a way for me to get up here. Yep, right this way. There's a guy there, but who cares. And the easy to get Dim Sum is right here. Okay, so that's the easy to get ones. Now I'm gonna torture myself trying to get the goddamn hard to get ones. Uh, the hard to get ones are on the battlements of the castle and they actually are really annoying to get because you have to jump down to these little outcroppings. You see these? See that little outcropping up there at the top of the screen? Yeah, it's on one of them. I think it's on this one here. Yeah, it's on this one here, the one just after. So... I'm gonna leave, no, 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 keep my horse up here and just assume that I'm gonna manage. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. I can never actually make this jump properly. Oh, come on, Jihal, dude, you can jump up, you can jump onto these stairs, come on. Right, so, the one I want is not that, it's that one. You see that? No. You see that? That's what I want. But trying to get it is difficult because I never know if I'm actually on the right spot. No. I need to go up a little bit and down. And I went too fucking far. You see my problem with this. You see my problem. It just it can never just drop. He has to drop way too fucking far. Nine times out of ten, I just give in and don't even bother getting these. But I'm trying to show these off, so it's just so irritating. Why couldn't they have just? Did you think we would let you through? Why? Okay, right, it's right there. Right, it's literally just right here. And I did it again! Well... <laughs> okay, forget. Just, just forget. Forget it. No, 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 no. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. You can do this. You can jump over onto the damn platform. You can see why I have a particular... See if it wasn't for the, the difficultiness of getting these um, these two power-ups, I would do this stage to grind all the damn time. Like if it wasn't for the difficultiness in getting these, these damn power-ups. Right, okay. Right, so... Should be like here? Screw it, I give up, I don't care. I genuinely, I don't care. I'm just, nope, nope, whole lot of nope. And I got hit by a boulder. That would have been the ultimate F you if I had been killed by that boulder. So yeah, I mean, yeah, there's two more if you want to grab them, but I genuinely cannot be arsed grabbing them because it's just so much effort to try and time your jump and all the rest of it down there. It's just... It takes a lot of time, and I've only got 40 minutes per episode, and I would much rather just speed through the stages than waste all I mean, how long has this taken already? This has been 15 minutes already. Really? 15 minutes for the Yellow Tub and Stage Rebellion? You can see why, if I was only doing 20 minutes, I would be 5 minutes left in this damn video. I feel like we've done 15 minutes of nothing. Wow, if he kills me, this is going to be hilarious. That's what happens when you get annoyed at the game. Is you just... It only takes a couple of minutes to get annoyed, and then boom, you're screwed. And we're done. Alright, go away. I don't like the Dynasty Warriors 3 version of the Yellow Tub and Rebellion. I don't like it. I prefer the Dynasty Warriors 2 version. So 
So yeah, we did that. We didn't have a perfect run through of that, but still, who cares? Right, okay, let's go. On to the next stage. Which is gonna be most likely the Hulal Gate. I suggest my Lord Wan Shao. Yes. All right then. I accept the position of Grand Commander, and I swear to destroy the traitor, Don Zhao. Our allies have begun their attack! I shall accompany you. Alright, so it's the Battle of Hulal Gate. Again, this is another one we've done many times before. I'm not changing anything essentially, so let's just go straight into it. We've got the unit info, we've got Yuan Shao with Yang Liang and Wen Chou, Gun Sung Zan, Liu Bei with Zhang Feng Guan Yu, Sun Jian with Hong Gai, Han Dang Chen Pu, Sao Sao with Zhi Hao Dun, Sao Reng and Sao Hong and Yuan Shu. We have Dong Zhuo, Li Meng, Diao Chan, Liu Bu with Zhang Liao and Gao Shun. Hu is Yong with Hu Zhen and Zhao Shen, Fan Chu with Niu Fu and Zhu Rong with Wang Fang. Let's go straight into this and get it done and get on to the third stage as quickly as we possibly can. There is a Mushu Wine and Dim Sum but they're actually really easy to get in this stage. So completely opposite of the last one. Ahead. Cow Cow, go to the top of the Fan Shui gate. Wan Shu, you attack from the rear. So just because this little red dot annoys me, I'm going to go up and get rid of this gate. Just because having this little red dot up here next to all my blue annoys the hell out of me. Don't be hasty. Wait for reinforcements. And why do I do so little damage when on a horse? That's just come on. I feel like they really nerfed horse attack from Dynasty Warriors 2. Because in Dynasty Warriors 2, fighting on a horse was like much more powerful. Than fighting on foot, but in the this game it's like completely the diff completely the opposite. It makes yeah, unless you maybe have the the cavalry, the mounted attack item bonus and all that. But personally, I feel like that's just a waste of an item space, really. Right, so there's not much we need to do here apart from just run past all these peasants. And Lu Bu is starting to attack you on Shu. Which is no problem at all for us because it's not us that has to deal with that. So, although we probably will have to deal with that at one point in this stage. Right, okay, here's new foot. Let's take him down just because, well, why not? And he's down. Right. Right, let's get rid of these guys just so I can get back on my horse. And continue on to take down Fan Chou. And once we've taken care of Fan Chou, Sao Sao's forces should just manage to plow right through these guys. Um, I love Lu Bu's theme tune. That's like one of the most iconic Dynasty Warriors thing is Lu Bu's theme tune. And here's Fan Chou. Oh, and Archers. Shu's army still has not moved. What? Wan Shu, you have deceived me. Maybe because he's actually being attacked by Lu Bu Sunjian. Might have something to do with that. All right, so Fan Shu is taken care of. Got an item from that, but I'm not expecting it to be great. This is what I, I can't stand about getting crowded, is that I just want to move on 
but I can't because of all these peasants. Right, where am I going? Now, okay, I'm grabbing the Mushu Wine, which is actually just right here. It is... Right here. The Mushu Wine. So you want to break that and grab it. And now, let's leave Red here because we actually can't take Red here down these steps. And take on who is Yong, who is just right over here. Oh no, you won't need reinforcements because I'm just about to kill the guy that's giving you so much hassle. Where is it? Can't see him. Right, right there. Oh yeah, that's, this is Jialdun's moveset actually. It's, it's kind of okay, it's a typical sword move moveset. The fifth attack is kind of like a... It's like a gust of wind or something that... Oh, attack times two. You guys are screwed. Right, where do I want to head now? Let's go up here and take care of... This guy, and then that will let Liu Bei's force come down as well. And Fan Shui Gate has fallen. Fun things. Oh yeah, Liu Yuan Shu is pretty much going to die. It's very rare that you actually get to save Yuan Shu. I mean, it's probably doable if you have a powered up enough character, but... Meh. Nah. Why do it? You don't need Yuan Shu to finish the stage, so he's really not essential at all. I an officer. Right, that's him down. Now let's grab this horse. Just so we move a little bit faster. Or maybe not. Right. Oh my god. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Where do we want to go now? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's try and save Yuan Shu. Why the hell not, right? Let's go for it. What can go wrong? What can go wrong, I say? If we can manage to save Yuan Shu, I'll be impressed. Maybe I should save before attempting this. Lubu's right here. I don't need to save. Don't pursue Lubu. Oh, I'm pursuing Lubu. Go to Hu Lao Gate and attack Dong Zhuo. And Zhang Liao as well. Oh no, I definitely cannot take on Lubu. I don't even. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, sorry, Wan Shu, you're dying. Sorry. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I would have much less trouble taking care of Lubu than I did. I never even managed to save him anyway. But oh well, it's fine. Sorry, see you later, Lubu. See ya. I'm just going to continue on and power through this stage. Right. I might change up my recording for this um, series. I might change it so that I record a battle per episode, even if that said battle only lasts like five minutes. Might result in more episodes, but I defeated an officer. It could be a good idea actually. I'm considering it right now, as I as I play right now. Bam, ba -da -bam. It would mean seven episodes per seven episodes per character minimum. I guess it's not too bad an idea. 
Screw it, I'll go for it. I'll start it today. I'm not too deep, you one shall. You're too deep. Well, you actually wouldn't know what being too deep feels like, so... Something is coming! Go. Break through the gates of Hulao. Yeah, let's do it. So basically, at this point, we just want to protect the assault unit. Gate. When the gate opens, we will storm... Protect this assault captain, that's basically what you want to do for this stage. Uh, this little area of the game. If you're powered up, it's honestly not difficult at all. And I am very powered up at the moment. Alright, this is going well. Oh, time suit attack, mine. Time suit to defense, mine. And the gate's open. Once you defeat all the enemies in front of Hulao Gate, the gate opens. So it's not like a set amount of time, it just however long it takes you to defeat those guys. Right, let's go in. Yao Chan's right there. Don't fall behind. And Yao Chan's dead. This is on normal, by the way. Oh, Hung Guy is gone. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, for these videos, I feel like I'm bec I was becoming a bit too focused on trying to get through battles quickly and I may be detracting from the experience of the battle and game so I think I'm going to swatch, switch over to the battle per episode feature, uh, thing that way it solves my problem there of having rushing through because there's no point in rushing through because it's going to be however long it takes me to finish the, the battle anyway well, let's take care of Dong Zhuo since he's right here. And finish this battle. Well, Lubu is tearing through Sun Jian's forces, but it won't matter because we're about to finish this stage off anyway. Dong Zhuo is actually much easier to take down than Lubu, obviously. Oh, time's due to attack. Which lasts me for 60 seconds. This should be it. No, no, I plan. It is all ruined now. Pretty much, mate, pretty much. And that's that, really. We sped through the Hulao Gate stage. Mm. So, there we go. Two stages down in one video. Crappy items, as per usual. So we're going to save, I'm going to end this episode before we start the next episode, because the next episode will be when I start to do my episode pair battle thing. It's going to be the Battle of Gwondu. Yes. All right. Go. One shall. You'll change your tune soon enough. I just realized I even forgot to get the damn, um, dim sum from last stage. My bad. It's on top of the Hulao Gate, for those of you who want to know. So, for the Battle of Gwondo, we're going to do this next episode. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Dynasty Wars 3. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for further content. If you want to 
You get in touch with me, leave a comment in the comment section below, or go to any social media in the description box below. Always love hearing from you guys. But as always, it was a pleasure to have you here, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. See you then.